property, well, probably about 40 years ago. It wasn't much as about 30, I think about 32,000. It's certainly escalated in price since then because it's such a large block of land. We are the winners to a certain extent, but we wouldn't be winners if we were to relocate somewhere else in Sydney uh, because what increases here increases elsewhere. Well, I thought Illawong was a lovely place, so it's, uh, and it still is. I just think it's a bit unfortunate that it's, uh, it has become the, um, the pot's point of the south to a certain extent. Uh, there are an awful lot of overdevelopment of housing on limited sized blocks of land. Oh, we love the area, yes. Once we drive into this, this block, we feel as though we're totally uh, Oh, at peace. We've got good neighbours and we are fortunate uh, that most of our neighbours subscribe to what we're thinking. They might think we're a bit dingbats, a little bit from hillbilly land, I don't know. A dream home would, would be one which would be totally energy efficient as much as we could, but we're, we're stuck with what we've got. So much of the world is in huge, has huge environmental problems where their life dependency is based on an environment which is degrading daily. We paid about $31,000 for the solar panels. Uh, of that, at the time, because of the federal government's um, subsidy plus the state government's subsidy, we got about 8000 back. I don't know whether, I certainly won't see, that we will ever pay for it that sometimes we have to make a statement about what our beliefs are. So many people say, when will it be paid off? You know, how long will it take? But we will go out and we'll spend $30,000 on a new car and its value starts decreasing from the moment you buy the car. Um, with a solar system, it's not a decreasing value. You are making money out of it all the time. It's just a matter of priorities. The ecology has a limit on what we can do to it, what we expect it to absorb. But uh, we're not prepared as a culture to accept that limitation.